I would say Facebook is very open to getting involved in trying to change web standards when it makes sense for the community to try to do that. Mm. I think that there are definitely pros and cons to be conscious of. You know, the speed of iteration, I think, is the number one thing where when something is part of React, obviously React now has its own many, like, million plus users to worry about and not thrashing them. But still, it's something that can change over time and can make backwards incompatible changes, which is basically not true on the web. Once something's part of the web, it has to stay that way yeah, forever. For sure. And because if something is part of the JavaScript code that is downloaded on page load, then that can change over time as, as we learn new things. And I think when you talk about standardizing something and moving parts of React into the web platform, in principle, 100% on board, I think it's just a question of, okay, which parts make sense to move that are stable enough? And you know, oftentimes I hear like, oh, can't we just move the React component model? Because that doesn't seem like it's changed very much. And can we standardize some form of that? And I think you know, we need to be careful with how we do that because doing that is committing to essentially never changing it. <laughs> <laughs>